someone who thought they needed space from you is now realizing they just might not be worthy of your energy or your time. I feel this is someone who played a lot of games when dealing with your energy and they may have thought your kindness was a weakness. I feel this is someone who is now sitting in a space of regret because they were very indecisive about a commitment or reuniting with you. Now they're wishing something never happened. Someone is wishing they never took you for granted or took something so lightly because their indecisive energy or behaviors caused something to fall short with you. This is someone who thought they needed space, yet now they feel unworthy and they're reflecting. This is someone who is thinking about the mistakes that they made, the secrets that they kept, because it only caused something to be sabotaged. I feel this is someone who created a very dark space with you due to their secrets, their lies, and their toxic energy. And I feel they needed space just to do or be whoever they wanted to be. Now they're reflecting on the mistakes that they made because it ruined the connection with you. Um, I feel this is someone who sabotaged something, not just by their mistakes, but also through confusion and neglecting you. Because someone never appreciated you. Not the way they should have. This is someone who didn't appreciate the chemistry. They were never really satisfied, so they held back. They kept secrets, and they were t detached when it comes to their ego and their pride. I feel this is someone who thinks about you often, even daydreaming about a new start, a new chapter with you, but I feel their guilt keeps them reminiscing about the values they should have held or had with you. I feel this is someone who held back and missed an opportunity. This is why they're reminiscing and also detached from their guilt because their pride and ego won't allow them to feel the pain. But I feel they're starting to see something now. Hmm. I feel like this energy didn't understand that something was needing to take place here. This is someone who didn't understand that just talking to you could have cleared all of this up. Hmm. Wow. But I feel there is no clear understanding when it comes to a conversation or even a third party. Just damage. Because things are now all screwed up. I feel there's a lot of damage and someone wants to have some type of reconciliation or forgiveness. Someone wants to mend something with you, but they ran from you. They were very irresponsible. Yet now they have an overload of responsibilities because this energy is overwhelmed. But I feel this energy is overwhelmed by their habits, their mistakes, and the fact that they ran away because you're no longer present in their life. Now this energy is hoping, wishing for change, but now realizing they just might have stepped into their destiny because they wasted a lot of time arguing with you or trying to escape responsibility because now there's unfinished business because they decided to be dishonest. I feel there's no reciprocity reciprocity in this situation there is no clearance because there's a lot of people talking and there could be a lot of things keeping the two of you apart i feel this is someone who is being shown the truth something is being revealed about their shadow side and they're kind of shocked at an unexpected outcome when it comes to a soul contract because someone thought that you would chase now they're broken shut down because they missed out on an opportunity with a soul tie. Because now you could be giving in to self. Self-love. This energy is very overwhelmed. Thinking that something has drifted apart. Possibly even drifted apart for good. Someone knows that you won't just easily take them back in. Yet this energy feels unworthy. But they want forgiveness. They want to mend something with you. But I feel like they're too consumed with responsibilities. Even though they're still irresponsible. I feel this is someone who wants to mend something with you. Have some sort of forgiveness or reconcile. But I feel this is someone who needs to understand the truth about their ego. And the space that they wanted or desired. Because it only left them in a sense of regret. I feel this is someone who's understanding the opportunities they thought they had was not of any value. This is what they're reminiscing on and they're trying to get over their guilty conscience. Someone has a very guilty conscience when it comes to a conversation or a disagreement between the two of you that took a turn for the worst. 
now this energy is regretting the fact that they needed space or the fact that they were indecisive about you because good things only come once in a lifetime. Let's get some more energy here. I feel like this is someone who's in deep reflection here. I feel like this energy is on in deep reflection on why they play with your energy or destroy what they had with you. As it seems they took for granted the love and respect you had. As it seems they took for granted the love and the respect you once had for them. Causing many of you to be forced to love them from a distance. And others still feel a sense of disgust and even hate. Seeing as though there's a thin line between the two. I feel this is someone who was very distracted. Now they're kind of upset, drowning in a state of misery or drowning in their own mistakes because these web of lies are starting to get out of hand. I feel someone was indecisive and caused a lot of damage because they were in they were in a state of confusion as far as their emotions. Because there was no victory. And this energy is starting to realize they are not protected. I feel this energy has a lot of inner turmoil that they need to acknowledge or even get through. I feel there's a lot attached to a third party or even the last conversation that you both had where they were holding back, yet wanting to tell you everything, yet they didn't. Hmm. It seems like this energy took a lot of wrong turns with you when it comes to affairs of the heart because this energy is not coming out as authentic and this is why all the damage was created. I feel this energy wasn't being authentic when it comes to love, communication, or even a group of people that didn't mean well. Because this energy was sitting in the space of being incognito when it comes to their deceit, they blocked you. Pretending to be unbothered when it comes to their bad habits. Because someone thought that you were gonna be optimistic about some false illusion. And they're now thinking about healing something, whether that is with self or with you. Someone is wanting to create balance because they know you're a gift. I feel someone invested in something that were that brought them no reward. Now they're looking for a breakthrough. Someone's looking for a breakthrough because they allowed you to slip right through their fingers. They're wanting forgiveness. <sighs> but I also feel they're apology or charm is going to have to speak louder than their disrespect as it seems this energy is wanting a breakthrough but they're still overwhelmed because there's no balance in their life this is someone who is very heartbroken depressed many of you may not see it in that fashion you feel like this energy doesn't even have a heart but i feel they do they have a lot of love for you they just have a very toxic way of showing it i feel this is someone who is bound to their sadness and going through a storm of peoples sudden changes that they didn't expect because they need to transform i feel this is the universe telling them to change to have what they need and not what they want mm. i feel there's a sense of sadness that they're bound to because they're going through a lot because they walked away yet i sense this is the universe putting a sense of balance in a situation where someone completely goes to you now they're drowning in their mistakes I feel many of you, for many of you, this energy could be going through a sense of poverty, a breakdown in communication has caused them to lose a lot and gain very little. I feel this energy could be surrounded by enemies or people that make them feel alone. They're angry. They should have never played these games. And they're overwhelmed because they don't have the strength to make things up to you. I feel this is someone who is locked down mentally, emotionally, financially. There's a lot of karma moving through their life because someone was definitely spoiled and threw something away with you that was very valuable. Now someone could have be at a dead end. Game over. Time's up. Someone needs to get it right or have nothing with you at all. I feel this is someone who is lacking in organization. Someone is needing to be more stable to clear up these bad habits or illusion or even find some type of forgiveness with you. But I feel they are bound to their mistakes and this is why they're trying to be unbothered about healing. But I feel there is no easy way out of this. I feel there's also a group of people here who wants them to stay stuck because as long as they're stuck, they are needed. Yet I sense they're starting to see there is no light without you. I feel in many ways this is someone who 
played a lot of games and got lost in the in the direction of real love where I sense the only reason they made these choices is because they're still unhealed and wounded from the past which keeps them at war with self and this is how they ended up hurting you not because they don't love you or care for you it's because they have a hard time loving and accepting self you just got caught up in the crossfire of someone else's spiritual warfare which doesn't make it right but someone needs to put in the extra effort to right their wrongs. I feel this is someone who is lost with the intention of who they need to be. In fact, I sense this is someone who has bitten off more than they can chew in a situation or even life because they don't understand self or even how to process or manage their emotions, which is only keeping them in an empty space. I feel this is someone who is finding it hard to manage their energy because they don't really know how to do something without it being agenda based hmm. or beneficial to them. Yet I sense the loss of you or the time and distance between the two of you has only caused them to realize they didn't value what they had with you until it became a memory. Let's get some more energy here. I feel this is someone who blocked you out because they were unbothered when it comes to values. Now they're wanting to heal, get rid of a group, communicate about their bad habits, toxic ways, or some type of emotional abuse. Someone is wanting to communicate about the love they really have for you. They just don't know how to give it authentically. Not the way that you do. Let's get some more energy here. Confirmation, Holy Spirit. Wow. So it seems this is someone who is still stuck in the past of how they chose to treat you. But I feel many of you had to rise above it to find your way. This is a feminine energy, guys. For many of you, you definitely had to rise above someone's actions. Even though they blocked you out, I feel many of you still had a sense of love for them. Even though you know they didn't deserve it. I feel this is someone who could be analyzing. Thinking things over. I feel this is someone who is thinking things over because they were not being logical about a situation. I feel this is someone who is analyzing the fact that their heart chakra needs healing. Yet I feel this energy is lacking the drive to make things better or sin. I feel like this energy is just waiting on a sign. Waiting on a sign when it comes to an earth angel. Where they're wanting to release and surrender their childish behaviors and send you love. Blow you a kiss. Someone is wanting to give you something that is overdue. Well deserved. Yet this energy is still shutting you out in some type of way, even though they know nothing else compares. I feel this is someone who needs to read between the lines when it comes to third parties, community ties, and dark intentions. Because if they don't, it will only cause them to have a losing game in a situation where they should be trying to gain instead of continuing to lose. I feel this is someone who needs to read between the lines when it comes to the dark intentions of a third party or community ties. Someone needs to release and surrender when it comes to something that is overdue. Instead of shutting you out and trying to play it cool, someone needs to end some karmic cycles. I feel this is someone who's still trying to fit in and this is why they're staying mute, they're not talking. This energy feels like as long as they don't acknowledge what's going on, it'll just go away, but it's only causing something to get bigger. It's only causing something to cause more damage because this energy continues to go down the rabbit hole. I feel this is a rabbit hole full of karmic cycles and lessons where someone is still sitting in a fantasy of false illusion. They're blowing off steam. I feel this is someone who's blowing off steam and trying to play it cool when they know they're watching from a distance wanting access to you and looking for an escape because they know you're waiting on an apology. I feel this energy is sitting in a space where they know that they owe you way more than an apology and I feel staying attached to these community ties of third parties will only cause them to have a losing game. 
this is someone who needs to stand up for self, not just the community, not just the connection, but also for the sake of the good or their future, instead of playing it cool and shutting you out. I feel like this is someone who's done a lot of damage to, to the connection, wanting space and keeping secrets, yet I feel they're starting to regret the fact that they blocked you out or needed space because it only created a, a, a wedge between the two of you. And many of you are just so over this because what you have with them should have lasted forever. If this energy played with the connection and lost you in the process. I feel this is someone who knows that you're over it, possibly never looking back. And this is why they feel like you just won't listen or open up. And they're starting to understand or realize they need to open up and talk. I feel this is someone who has a blocked sh throat chakra. Hmm. And they understand that they need to speak up or speak out. If they ever seek, want to seek forgiveness from you, I feel like their nerves are starting to kick in. Someone is thinking and dreaming of you, knowing that what the, con the connection they had with you was rare. But the fact that their heart is still guarded is due to the fact that they're not ready to deal with unfamiliar emotions. They're still blinded and confused. I feel this is someone who is still blinded and confused by a false persona. As it seems, this energy is still putting on the performance of a lifetime. Still seeking attention from the wrong places and living in the fast lane. This energy has just lost direction. Even though they know they're praying for change. For many of you, you could be praying for this energy, hoping that they get it right, and many of you just pray that they stay away, but I feel this is someone who is praying to find their light, and they could be all in their head about wanting more from you because they know you were right or die. You were everything. Yet the fact that they are still confused and guarded may keep many of you at bay. Wow. But I feel someone's in regret for looking past you or blocking you out because they're getting all in the sign, all of the signs and synchronicities to come your way. But someone feels like you won't let them in. You don't want to hear it. But someone knows without a doubt they need to come for your heart. Someone needs to come for your heart and stop playing these games and level up and cleanse their energy. Because if they don't, they will only continue to die inside. Someone is needing to intentionally get rid of an illusion to come into the light because at this point this energy is still hiding in the shadows knowing that what they had with you was otherworldly but someone knows that at this point you're not on the same page. Hmm. And even though they miss you, it just might not be enough. It might not be enough for you to consider compromising or letting them back in someone needs to let their guard down and truly be authentic with you because continuing to play these games will only leave them lost in the process <sighs> without finding the light they just might never get it right i feel this is someone who is trying to play it cool trying to get over the fact that you are unbothered or not reaching out <sighs> Someone is feeling like they're needing to move quickly or move with intention to get you back, but someone is too damaged, too damaged and lost to see a truth. I feel this is someone who is in regret because they played a lot of games that only got them crossed out. Many of you cut ties to save your own energy, your own mental health. Because this energy didn't see the pain and the tears that you have cried behind this connection. You're just not trying to give in to the pain or the tears anymore. I feel many of you have cried your last tear when it comes to this energy who is wanting to seek forgiveness. I feel they are wanting to come your way but still trying to make sense of what they have done. I feel this is someone who tests the limits when it comes to you. Many of you feel like they just didn't care. They disappointed you in a very good, big way, even emotionally draining you mentally and physically. 
because they had no boundaries. Hmm. No self-worth. And the fact that they didn't have worth of self and setting boundaries, they mentally exhausted you and let go. I feel this energy let go or put you in some type of competition that left them standing alone. I feel this is someone who is standing alone but still cannot move on. This energy purposely made you look bad and now they're stressed out in a very toxic headspace because they end up waking up thinking about you. They daydream about you. I feel you are all in their head and this is why they're avoiding others. Hmm. Because they're starting to realize they need to learn how to love self. I feel the cat is out of the bag and this energy is definitely stressed out and overwhelmed because they feel defeated. Someone feels defeated because the cat is out of the bag and that everyone knows that they are stuck on you. This energy is feeling like a clown for the decisions they made concerning you because when they hurt you, this is someone who really didn't give a fuck about hurting anyone. They only cared about self. I feel this is someone who made a lot of assumptions from a very heartless space because it allowed many of you to see their true colors. They need to heal and forget about what they lose in the process because whatever is lost in the process is something they never needed in the, in the first place. I feel this is someone who needs to heal to get rid of this anger and frustration because it's only going to cause them to go crazy in the end because many of you are disgusted with their heartless ways or disrespectful energy and a lot of the things they have done is unforgivable this is someone who knows they went too far and they are concerned this is someone who is concerned and trying to see something in a different light because in so many ways they never meant to let go they never really wanted to leave but they never thought that you would stand your ground the way that you are hmm. I feel this is someone who couldn't release the past, and this is why they're still in pain. Still not able to understand the mess that they have created, but as I said before, this is someone who didn't see the tears that you have cried. And many of you are no longer wanting to deal with the pain. You're not wanting to live in the pain or the misery. And you're no one's sneaky link. So I feel this is someone who has a dangerous way of giving and receiving love and they're annoyed because you're no longer giving in and they're scared because they feel like you won't open up. Hmm. I feel this is someone who wants you in the worst way yet they're shocked that you may be doing just fine without them. But I feel just because you don't see their pain or even their tower moments does not mean they're not going through it. Because even though there is no movement, there has been many changes and time moments to help guide this energy to discover the truth. Because I sense as the seasons change, so will they. As they are half of who they should be without you. And without the pain, there will be no gain. They're just going to have to get through it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.